Ever felt that you're looking for yourself and you're not really sure what's going on, what I'm all about? Yesterday I received a phone call from someone that is very close to my heart and I was absolutely destroyed into pieces. I'm not going to ask you to like this video or follow me. By watching this, you might save someone's life. You might make an impact to save them from committing suicide. This person said to me, I don't know, I can't find myself. My life is stable and everything, but there's something it's just not right. I don't know where to start and you're the first person that I thought I come and talk to. If you're spending all your positive energy on the outside and nothing really left for you, it doesn't matter how old you are, 30, 40, 50, 15, one point in time in your life it's gonna hit you and when that happens that's often the stage where depression, anxiety and unfavorable feelings kick in Start with yourself today and try to think of yourself first, then help others. This will create a big difference in your life. How can you talk to someone with influence and confidence? Three things need to be in line. Your body language, 55%, and your tone, 38%, and the specific words that you are using, 7%. Full video on my YouTube channel, check it out. When you were little, your confidence was huge. As you're growing older, your confidence has decreased. Come learn how to build your confidence with me. How to grow your confidence. One, you have to celebrate your little achievements and take immediate action. You do this, come back and tell me how do you feel. So how do you appear so confident even though you're not talking much? I'm Dr. Joe Isaac for The Fresh Faces. Listen more and nod, but not so frequently. Something like this. Don't go up and down. Stay comfortable. At times, lean forward. Also, keep eye contact as much as possible. How do you appear so confident without having to put too much effort and build the connection with the person you're talking to? Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Isaac for The Fresh Faces. Before you enter the conversation, take a deep breath. Let it all out on their right side. Maintain an eye contact with a side profile for two, three seconds. How to win an argument every single time. I'm Dr. Joe Isaac for The Fresh Faces. Three, control your emotions so you can think clearly. Two, ask them questions to get them to think. One, think of something that they have said and say as you said and link it to something that you wanna connect. Check my page for the rest. How can you win an argument every single time? I'm Dr. Joe Isaac for The Fresh Faces. Don't bad mouth. The argument will pass over and that memory will stay there. Listen to their emotions. There's always an emotional part attached connecting to a big cause. Don't we all want to be happy? How can you win an argument every single time? I'm Dr. Joe Isaac for your beautiful face. Focus on the emotional side because emotions are on the fly. Think of a statement that you can say, they can agree to. Think of possible responses if they disagree. You know I love you. Check my page for the next parts. How to present your view and win every single time. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Isaac. Contradicted with confidence, refer to the argument in general that it's a bit too much and then pick one or two points that you can easily defeat, then declare your win. Use powerful sentences and to the point. Like, that's beside the point. Why you're being defensive? Don't compare apples with bananas. Use a diversion tactic. Distract them, talk about something else in the past that is not related to the topic. 